Yeah, the work that we do, I would say, is definitely artwork. Uh, it's on a huge scale. You have to, not everyone can do it. You have to have a fairly artistic eye. There are set processes we use, but to make the thing look natural, you have to have an artistic bone in your body. Within the habitat, there, the three main structures are the tree, which is the viewing area, uh, the huge rock face with the waterfall and stream, and then uh, Pride Rock. With the carving uh, and the painting, it's, it, it's quite, quite precise. We, we look a lot at reference and try and create uh, as close as we can to that, using various processes, but obviously, there's a budget and there's a time scale, so it's about finding a quick way of achieving a dramatic effect. So to create this effect, uh, we, we sprayed on all these shapes and then flattened them out and then sprayed this pepper texture over the top and brushed it out, which is a really quick way of creating like loads of depth and a dramatic effect that then can be picked up with the paint paint job then, the whole thing was sprayed with this darker brown and then with a lighter brown, uh, just not too much paint on the brush. You just flick it over and it, it picks up all the high points. It's called dry brushing. Then with watered down washes, we flicked on like these greys and greens and yellow ochres and sprayed lots of different colours, lots of greens to bring out the moss and reddy browns just to create like a different and varied feel and natural look. When you stand back and you've created something that looks spectacular and you know that a lot of people are going to get pleasure from it and also hopefully the lions will really appreciate the enclosure we've created for them so yeah we get, there's a huge joy. That's why we do this. <laughs> Mm-hmm.